السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته برب يوم هير از كوتش كريم اجين ابو امريكان اور يوجوال ستين جست ابو امريكان ويلكم باك ابو امريكان وعليكم السلام ورحمه الله وبركاته جود تو بي باك سوري مايك ان ماي فيس جريت جريت تو بي باك توداي وي ار روستينج سم ون لايك ديد يو كان يو سميل وات ذا روك از كوكينج Smell the barbecue. Yeah, we are roasting someone really bad, really bad, because this hijabi yeah. feminist is 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 ignorant to the degree that she have another version of Islam that we never heard of. Islam full mm. of women controlling the society and like ruling the whole ummah behind them. So, you know, I, I got a saying though. It's like the these these feminists, these hijabi feminists, they they want a religion of women's rights, not a, re, a religion of Allah's rights over his creation. Mm, great. That's a great that's a great point. Because the measurement, like they measure the success of any religion based on females. So yeah. how are we gonna present Islam to the West? as the uh, as the religion that give the woman the ultimate uh, freedom and the ultimate rights that's how we're going to present it because uh, that's how they're going to like it so it's not a, it's not and it's never been a matter of like there's a lot of things that we don't like that but but we are obligated to uh, allah said in the quran kutiba alaykum al which is I know you hate it I know you hate to fight and to die but I already ordered you to do so so even God knows and acknowledge that there is things there is some obligations that you like it's not necessary for you to like but it's obligatory like you have to do it so it's never been about the feelings of the Islam Sharia it's never been about the feelings it's about that what is the best for society and that's how nations survive and raise up i don't disagree 100 i mean we've seen this in all societies and all cultures there has never been um a successful society it seems like it's, a, it's an off point but it is it is the current point uh that hasn't been brought up upon some form of religion So, you know, um, and those religions have never been about the rights of women. You know, if you look at actually any religion, any of the monotheistic, the, 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 excuse me, Abrahamic religions, they, they all, they all have hypergamy in check, you know. And so now what you see is they're trying to do with Islam what they did with Christianity, which is unfetter and unchained hypergamy so that they can just do and be whatever they want to be. And most of it isn't good. Yeah, yeah. Let's start from the beginning here. Her name is Safiya Sabrin. And you know, Safiya is a female name, and Sabrin is another female name. Females in Islam, they will follow their father's name. For example, if if my daughter's name is Maryam, she will be named Maryam Karim. Not Maryam uh, Safiya, Maryam Juwairiya, Maryam Khalida, Maryam Sara. She will she will follow her father name. So there is no Safiya Sab Sabrin. There is no two females name in the Islamic names. Her name is Safiya Sabrin. So are you calling yourself after your mother? Did you invent a new like way of calling each other in Islam? Because And God says in Quran, which is your father name after your name. That's the God's rule in Islam. So she's supposed to be, for example, her first name is Safiya. The second name will be Khalid, Muhammad, Ahmed, uh, Abu American, anything. Male name, not female name after female name. Did you notice that? 
sorry, I keep muting myself. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah, this is known. But um, I don't know what to say, man. Feminist is going to feminist. You know, they they goofy, bro. They, just, they like like you said at the start, they're making up their own religion. You know, Daniel, he made a good point, and he said something that's very pertinent, and it's kind of stuck with me since he said it. Uh, you know, feminism is the gateway drug to disbelief. You know, and uh, I, I can't say that I disagree with that in the least. I've never seen a feminist that doesn't at some point go off the rails to the point that you have to say that statement is there. We're, you know, we're not making mass tech fear. That's not what we're doing. But, you know, it's just like, yo, that's a statement of kufr. And if you don't like back off of that, it could potentially take you outside the fold of Islam if you willfully know what you're saying is like in such clear opposition to the religion. And Alano's best. Is just really is bad, man. It's bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, how does she represent herself? Uh, she says that she's a mechanical engineer. That she have a mechanical engineer degree. She doesn't work with that mechanical engineer degree. And she mentioned on her uh, on her YouTube channel that uh, she is persuading a master degree in philosophy. And that's in years. I don't know if it, if it's done or not. She so need to update that. But what engineering have to do with philosophy? I don't know. I don't know. So from the beginning, she's representing herself. She never mentioned her age. She's around forty, by my estimation. She never mentioned until until uh, uh, until Daniel uh, put her to the corner that she's divorcee. She lived with no man. So divorcee over 40, mechanical engineer degree. That that predicts some personal traits, which is disagreeableness, so opinionated, so argumentative, uh, so annoying. That's the character, that's the character that uh, that degree needs to get. So yeah. divorcee, feminist, over 40, living uh, living uh, living uh, living alone. Not, not by her father or by her uh, or by her husband, uh, and she's like I smell that there is hatred of uh, of uh, of the of the Islamic uh, let's say Qawama figure, which is the masculine authority in Islam. Yeah, and we will we will figure it out in during the uh, during the the debate itself. All right, we well, say so we just jump right into it. Yeah, let's go. Here is it, and uh, I will start here by uh, I will start by like after the in the introduction they have some uh, audio issue, and then she she jump on in, into the the intro the, the opening statement, the opening statement. Let's see okay. the opening statement. Sure, whenever you want to. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So before starting, I want to share with you all something. The woman that is talking to you is a trained mechanical engineer. Who From the beginning, a trained mechanical engineer that like she, she never worked with it. That's that. That's what I understand from that. I'm a mechanical engineer, but I I never worked as a mechanical engineer. I mean, even if she did work as a mechanical engineer, it's like starting off with your credentials. It's like it doesn't impress anybody. Men aren't impressed by your credentials. We've been doing this for exactly. since forever. We we don't care. Okay, you're a mechanical engineer. I don't care. What does that mean to me? Looking at you as a woman, absolutely nothing. Yeah, it means nothing to me. I don't have anything that needs to be designed, fixed, whatever else, analyzed from a mechanical engineer aspect. If you know, for me as a man, intrinsically and from my from my the quote unquote, you know, nature as a law has created me is to be a provider. Where does that fit in the scope of what's interesting to me as a man? Just, exactly. Exactly. Very as the, the, the beginning. She's trying to get report like she's a man. She's very masculinized. You know, like, I'm a mechanical engineer. 
like blah 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 so that means something like no it doesn't mean anything we're having a debate about like something else it's like being a mechanical engineer doesn't mean anything it gives you no report that gives you no credence no nothing it doesn't help other guys there's guys they're engineers civil mechanical construction i work with you know what i can trounce them in multiple conversations maybe not in their field it means nothing and even then, I could punch them in the face, and they still can't do anything. The you know skinny arm dorks. So it means nothing to be a mechanical engineer, especially as a woman. I mean, and I'm not saying it doesn't mean anything. Obviously, it's an accomplishment. But in terms of like just starting off talking about the rights of women and men in Islam and feminism and Islam and all this, what does it mean? It means nothing. You're just trying. She's just trying to grab report. Yeah. And it's not working. Yeah. Exactly. It's not working at all. Chose her family and service to Allah's deen over a corporate career and a six-digit salary, of course. You didn't get, you didn't let a six-digit salary. You didn't get six-digit salary. Because the the engineers in general in the United States, they will get sixty to hundred thousand uh, dollar per, per 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 year. But yeah. you have to be a successful one. You have to be practicing one for years to get yeah. six-digit salary, not to get training and then will, you will get six uh, six-digit salary. So you did, you did not drop hundred thousand dollar per year to do a YouTube show. It doesn't mean no. anything. Like with t- ten years, like ten years, ten ten years channel with eighteen thousand subscriber. It, sorry, 12 year channel, 18,000 mm-hmm. subscribers. Really? You drop $100,000 yeah. per year to do this. It, it means nothing, bro. Let me tell you something. You know, as a man who's over six figures right now, it's really not impressive. It's not impressive. It's not impressive. Do you know how many people make six figures a year? Mm-hmm. It may, you know, on a grand scale, when you look at the percentage of people in the United States who make six figures, yeah, it might seem impressive. But then when you're in the field with six figure people, you realize it's really not that special. It means nothing, really. I mean, okay, it's nice to have money and extra money and whatever else. I'm not. Let me not say that. Let me not say it's not special. But it's it's not. Get in a field with people who all have six figures, and you're gonna be standing there like, well, what now? Now you're gonna have to come on something else in order to be impressive. That's impressive to people who don't have it and desire that over any and everything else. But going to a career field where everybody is over six figures. I make six figures. Uh, I, so many. And it's like there's 30 people in the office, and you're like, oh. Well, she, she should start with like, uh, I'm divorced. I divorced my husband, destroyed my family, and I'm living alone. I'm feminist. I hate men, and I want to debate you. Like, that will be a good, uh, that will be, a, that, that will be a good representation. Then I'm a mechanical engineer. I left $100,000 per year just to do some videos and to write some articles on here and there. Really? Exactly. I'm not me buying that. Me. Sorry. Yeah, me and you both. <laughs> this I say to make it clear that I detest feminism. Both in my words, you can check my YouTube channel, and my actions. We're going to be talking about Muslim women and education. So there's some terms that need to be defined here. Who is a Muslim woman? What is education? And whether it's important for a Muslim woman to be educated or not. A Muslim woman is someone who has... By the way, I have to mention something about American. Did you notice that? She's all the debate. She's reading from a paper. She's reading line by line, word by word. She can't talk like me and you here. No, we no, can't no, no. have real conversation. And she 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 mentioned she mentioned in the in the debate that she was studying she was studying Daniel for one year. <laughs> I don't know if, if if Daniel need like one year degree to study him as a, as a man. Bro, I've been taking up challenges on the fly. I don't even know like what the topics on. I haven't watched this video. I guarantee you, you could just throw me in the ring with her. She can pick the <laughs> top with her notes, and I'll beat her over the head and the neck with the uh, intellectually and verbally. 100%. I don't need to know. I have no ilmo ghaib. I can tell you. It's because, like you said, this is natural for us. This is this is our element. 
And let me just go back. I have a video about this, about these, you know, where mm-hmm. Kevin Samuels was talking about these sisters. They say they're not feminists or whatever else, but they're actually undercover feminists. It's all fake. They're feminists. You know, I'm not a feminist. I detest feminism. But then they display all the attributes mm-hmm. of a feminist and they have all the behaviors of a feminist. And it's like, but I'm not one. It's like, what? I, hey, you know what, Kareem? Well, I'm not a black if man. If she looked like I, a duck, I, she walked yeah, exactly. walk like I'm a not duck. a black she man, sounds... okay? Thank you very much. I consider myself to be... <laughs> I don't know. I'm, so I'm, I'm, black. I'm just saying, it's like, what the heck? Imagine me saying something like that. <laughs> and you're looking at me and you're like, dude. I can see you, right? And this, and these these sisters don't understand that we can see them and we can see that you're a feminist. I don't care if you're saying you're not one. I'm looking at you. You're a feminist. Stop it. <laughs> Stop you know, it, please. David. Get help. Yes, exactly. Stop. Get help. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look, she's reading word by word. Of her script. Look. Submitted herself to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Her priorities are clear. Serving her creator, following the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa and being devoted to her family. What is education? And what did you do for your family? You just destroyed it. Mm. You just destroyed your own family and you're living alone. Is that, is that how you represent Islam? I mean, bro, they, they don't even see the they don't even see their just own divorce like, your man. Yeah, exactly. They got a divorce. Of course, but you know, uh, uh, come on, bro. You know, I can guarantee you. Let's go down the list. I guarantee you he was abusive, you know, he was emotionally abusive, he was financially abusive. We can I can guarantee you exactly. it's like you know, somewhere along the lines, it, it's something like that. He was manipulative and controlling, you know, he was insecure, and I couldn't be with him. Mm-hmm. He was so controlling. <laughs> yes, he's controlled. Yes. So 100 percent It's something like that, you know. It's it's not my fault. Do you ever see Happy Gilmore? It's not your fault. Yeah, exactly. It's not her fault, obviously. It's him. If 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 you ask a hundred divorcee female, what did what did you do wrong and what the man do wrong? They will always tell you like a, a laundry list of what he did wrong. And when it comes to her, she will tell you, I was so trusty. Like, I trust him a, a lot. I was so good. I was so... She will never mention a real negative thing. Like, I was I was annoying, uh, argumentative, uh, with a loud voice, with fat. Like, she will never mention real thing. Yeah. She will tell they're you something. Victims. She was over, over positive. Yeah. They, they, they're all victims. Let's go. Primarily understanding the Quran, Hadith, Fiqh, Sira, as much as we can, and also understanding the world around. Yeah, the hissing is gone. Can you hear me now? Now I can't hear you. Oh, oh, you? I'm hearing. Oh, yeah. I muted myself. Yes, you can do that. That uh, that helps. Thank you. So, did you like? Are are you listening closely, Abu Abu American? Did, no, did you hear what she what, 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 what she said? You who can do that? She's she's like ordering him. You can do that. Like I'm allowing yeah, you yeah, to yeah. do that. Do you see like yeah. where is the tone here? The, the masculine tone, even yeah, dealing with Daniel. Yeah. No, I caught that right yeah. off the rip. You can do that. That's better. Okay. SubhanAllah, I must confess, in my entire life, I've never felt so small that that I have to actually have to argue why education is important for Muslims, a community whose prophet emphatically uh, declared that seeking knowledge is an obligation on every Muslim, male or female. Okay, can we stop right there real quick? I'm sorry, where did this conversation come in? Here is the first false... Here's the oh, first falsification, I'm... by the way, which yeah, is yeah. knowledge uh, yeah. and education. Yeah. 
knowledge of the religion, obviously. Um, uh, but my question is, where has this ever been a thing where it's like, you know, Muslims are talking about women should be educated? I mean, especially in the West. Maybe if it was like maybe Afghanistan or something. I don't know. Like, you know, super duper rural Afghanistan. But I mean, in general, where is this a conversation that women shouldn't get educated? Where do you go in the world and there's not girls schools? Amongst the Muslim Ummah. I mean, even when it comes down to the most quote unquote backwards of Muslim countries, they have girls and boys schools, but there's always girls schools. When it, where, who's saying this is not like yeah. something that we don't do, that we don't educate women? I mean, who, who says this? When, where, where is this a conversation? Someone show me where it's like, we have to, I can't believe we have to have this conversation. Okay, show me who's out here saying, uh, girls just not read and write or whatever else. Who's saying this? Can can you tell me where? Because I've never seen this. Nobody. It's like a, just a false straw argument. Man policy, what is, man. Straw man policy, man. Exactly. Straw, straw man. man. Policy. Look at this. I've got this thing. I'm going to beat it. I just made it myself. What are you talking about? The weirdos, man. Anyway, sorry. She, she, she just remind me of, 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 of one of the feminists that I have debate uh, debate with like two years ago or one year ago. She was telling me women need to be educated. I said, like, and she was Jordanian. I was like, mm -hmm. Really? Women is women is getting in education since the 60s before the United States in Jordan. Like in the 60s, we have bachelor degrees for, for females in Jordan. In, in the 60s, before United States. So why are you telling me women need education? They have education. They're yeah. having education since 60 years. So why are you keep calling? We need to educate women. Women are more than men in the education system. So why are you still playing that card? It's expired since 50 years. I can't call That's it. Okay. I don't know where this is the conversation. I'd like to really see like someone having this conversation. I, you know, because I've never seen anybody out here saying women shouldn't be educated. I mean, so it's, again, straw man. Yeah. But anyway, her, her false equivalency also, you know, I mean, we obviously understand that seeking knowledge is pertains to seeking knowledge of the religion, you know, uh, mm -hmm. so, you know. That's the priority, obviously. The priority is to seek knowledge of the religion first. And if you can get some dunyawiya, you know, um, what you will call it, some dunyawiya knowledge, then alhamdulillah, do it. But your priority is knowledge of the religion. So is she saying that people are opposed to uh, Muslim women learning knowledge of the religion? Is that what she's saying? No, she's confusing knowledge with education system. Knowledge is something mm -hmm. else. You can be, you can get knowledge wherever you want to get knowledge. You don't, you don't have to go to university to get knowledge. That's imp, like that's employees manufacturing system. It is not knowledge. I can get knowledge. I got knowledge here. I can read. I can research. I can, I can get knowledge from here, well, from here, front of my laptop. So yeah. I can get knowledge. I don't have to go to university to uh, to be doctrinated by feminism agenda and liberalism agenda to get knowledge and that's not knowledge that's bullshit most of it yeah yeah <laughs> i've been like, I'm, I'm, I'm i'm i have i have around eight degrees by the way i'm talking oh, wow. to you guys i have i i have eight degrees so I know what they teach in uh, what what they teach in uh, in schools and in in universities. Most of it is bullshit. Most of it is bullshit. So he, anybody telling you you need to go to university to get knowledge, that's bullshit. That's manufacture for producing employees, employees, not scientists, not knowledge people with knowledge especially usable knowledge profitable knowledge no no at all no absolutely you won't catch me disagreeing bro i'm looking at people right now they yeah. they haven't spent the day in the university and they're managing people who have master's degrees in like you know stem fields and they don't have a degree i'm looking at this daily at my job yeah look at <laughs> come on look at look at like re real scientists, like Einstein, Edison, like Tesla, none one of them 
not even sing not even single one of them finish his education in the university none not one even like even the self-made billionaires they did not finish in their degree like yeah, bill gates is a dropout he, he's dropout mac uh, mark zuckerberg he's a dropout uh Elon Musk, he got he got a degree but he got a degree but most of his knowledge are uh, uh, self uh Self-educating, self-educating. That guy, that yeah, guy, something Brandon, the guy who has a uh, Virgin, Virgin uh, trains and airlines. Yeah, he look at that look at Mr. Like, Beast. Uh, he's 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 almost. Crazy. Look at Mr. Beast. He's uh, he's almost uh, like he's uh, he's close to be the first YouTube billionaire, and he's twenty four years old. He's drop out. He's this go. close to make one billion out of YouTube. Did he? Did he got that knowledge from school? No. Oh, yeah, Richard Branson. So, thank you, Richard Branson. He like dropped out of school to sixth grade. But yeah, let's get into this video. It's a long one too. So. Uh, Asad, Asad, he he's saying you have eight degrees. Have you actually worked in teaching capacity? No, and I will. I will never do, because uh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you, bro. If you want to be a teacher in university, like there is something, there is things that you have to say and things you have to do not say, and I don't like this. Uh, I don't like this boundaries, because I will. I will let people know the truth. I will tell them what I truly believe. If you are uh, if you are a doctor in, in university, uh, a professor in university, you're not allowed to say what you think. You have to tell them what is in the books only. So, no, I, I never worked as a teacher. Like I'm 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 doing uh, group coaching, yeah, but I design the material. Nobody tell me what to say. I will put what what really think it's benefit people like a real knowledge, so I, I do not follow their political correctness. No. Let's go back to the video. Yeah. yeah. And he sallallahu alayhi wasallam didn't restrict its scope by saying religious knowledge. This hadith, along with numerous ayat, became the primary motivation for the greatest intellectual revolution in history. And we, we all know that the golden age of Islam, where men, Muslim men and women, became great ulama, fuqaha, muhaddisun, muhaddisa. Mm. I have to stop it here. Okay. It's like, that's crap. That's crap. Muslim females and males... They used to be ulama. No. No. When you have 900 scientists and one female scientist, you do not say there is a woman and men like scientists. No. No. And there is there is no real scientist. Like there's four madhab. Like tell me what madhab belongs to female. What school of thoughts belong to female? Tell me one muhaditha. Muhaditha, not nasikha. There is a big difference between Muhaddith and Nasikh. And she mentioned, like in, in, in the debate, some names of Nasikhat. You know what is Nasikhat? They are copiers, which is mm. like they, 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 they used to do. There is no printing. Transcribe. In the, in the back time. So they need to copy uh, the, the, the books. Yeah, they need to copy the books by hand, like to rewrite another copy. So there is Nasikhat, which is... They, they they used to copy the books by by their hand and if you read their script like in the in, in the uh, in the end of the book they said uh, if if there is any mistake please uh, please uh, uh, please forgive me because I was uh, I was feeding my ch children and I was doing some chores and like I was doing things to my husband so if there is any mistake please forgive me they wrote that in in in, in the uh, books while they was copying it so what is their main duty that they are fulfilling they are taking care of home children and husband and that was another extra thing they do 
So that is it. It is not, there's no one like, like Al-Bukhari. There's no one like Muslim. Al-Bukhari used to travel 1,000 miles to get one hadith from one man and go back. While there's, there's wolves, there is a lot of dangerous, a lot of dangers. There was no cars. They used to go in, on their feet. So do you think really that, that there, is, there is women who used to, do, who used to go, go from Sham to Yemen or from Mecca to Baghdad to, to get one hadith by her own and go back? Really? Really? That's stupid. Obviously not, but you know, you can't tell them nothing. They strong and independent, man. <laughs> you know, this is something I hate that just happens in general, where people will like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They'll like look at history from a modern standpoint. You know, so it's like when you say that the the ulama of the past traveled like you know basically half the world the half the known world as far as they're concerned to get a hadith they're thinking oh yeah it's a hop on an airplane i can go get a hadith drop in my car and drive 300 kilometers and they're not thinking about you know like how this had to be camelback foot you know just the troubles and the difficulties that this was no woman was going through that back then you know what I mean? They weren't doing that. They were, you can't name a single woman that did that. So it's just goofball stuff, man. They're just over here revisioning or revising or, you know, perverting history. And we know they do that in the secular world, in the secular world. So now they're doing it just they're trying to do it in the, in the religious world. But they're not doing it explicitly. They're doing it implicitly. You know, they're trying to be slick about it. And it's not very sneaky. Yeah, yeah. As 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 they say, like uh, there is a science female scientists that they change the world. They have Nobel degrees. They have Nobel uh, Nobel awards. Okay, mm -hmm. what is the percentage of them? In physics, there is one out of two hundred forty. In mm -hmm. economics, there is one out of eighty. In in mathematics, there is one out of maybe one hundred fifty. So. Like, is it fair to say there is female and male scientists? No. There is 99% male scientist and 1% female scientist. So to say it as like they are equal, no, they are not equal. Like you're deceiving people. It's goofy That's anyway. That's right. It's like you said, when we boil it down to percentages, they're outliers. But at the end of the day, when we look at the scope of human progress, scientific, you know, social and whatever else. Again, this comes back to what I was saying about the six figures thing. It's not that special. It's like, it's just basically like, welcome to the club. Have a seat. You know what I mean? Because you are joining a league of individuals that number in the billions probably at this point, not billions, but let's say tens, if not hundreds of millions who actually made an impact in the world. I hate to say it. Being black and someone who affects the world scientifically, it's not that big of a deal. I'm sorry. Welcome to the club. Being a woman and affecting the world with your scientific discoveries, it's not that big. Thanks. Welcome to the world. Being a black woman and affecting the world, it's, it's not that big. It doesn't mean anything. What matters is your accomplishments and what you did and how you benefited people. What you were by chance doesn't matter as much as what you were by your actions and your deeds. You know, me... I'm Abu American, but that's what I feel myself as. As do you see? Look down there. It says co-life.com Abu American. Does it say African American, Black Abu American? Do you see that anywhere in my title? No, because what makes me me is me, not me. Is this a part of me? Yes, it's a part of me, but that's not the defining factor of me. My genitalia. I'm a man. Oh, oh, oh. It's not my defining factor in that sense. Okay, maybe it is in that sense, but you know, it's not, it doesn't make my personality and my mentality and, and my thought process and actions and deeds that which defines me as an individual and as a person. I'll argue with anybody about that. You know, it's not that special. You know, I, I, I love seeing it, you know, like uh, what's that TV, that movie called? Red Tails. That's awesome. Black heroes. But at the end of the day, you know, 
they were one fighter pilot unit. They were one fighter group fighting an entire war. They didn't win the war alone. It's like, well, it was in the club. Nice. You did well. You were supposed to. That's your job. Hmm. That's what we paid you for, to do a good job. Did you have to go through extra yeah. struggles or whatever else? Yes, but everybody had to go through some struggle at some point. Was yours a little bit more? Yeah, but you know what? That's you. It's not your color. It's not your gender. You push through that barrier. Stop trying to push that it's my color, it's my gender, whatever else. You, having a hoo-ha and, 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 and boobs didn't push you through to be some great mohaddatha or whatever she's trying to sell. That didn't make that. The individual here that pushed through whatever barriers were out there is what took you there. Your boobs didn't. My skin color didn't bring me here to my job or or to Abu American or whatever else. It's just goofball stuff, and I hate hearing it. It's like, shut up. What? You, what? Oh, disgusts me, bro. Sorry, rant over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Leah Le- 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 Th- Le- Thomas gender like uh, got her got her the first uh, position. Like she was the first. She got the, the the gold medal on uh, the gold medal on on the female swimmers, right? <laughs> that helps. <laughs> yeah, amongst other females, if that's if that's the defining yeah, well, some... factor in the competition that these are all females, yeah, sure. But in the world of science, is there female science? No, there's female physical competitions, but there's not female science. It's just science. Is there is there black war? There no, some... there was World War Two. There wasn't Black World War II. So you see what I'm saying? It still doesn't matter. <laughs> now, if there was Black World War II, uh, we, we can have a discussion, but I don't remember that war. <laughs> Maybe it happened and they just left it out the history books. They will, they will, they will send us the trans special forces of American. Let's be clear. Exactly. The trans special forces is going to go. <laughs> Madness. Let's go. Madness. Art, scientists, mathematicians, they change the course of history, quite literally. Even the most wild and Islamophobic orientalists on surveying Muslim history were forced to concede how Muslims revolutionized the pursuit of education. And we all know that it was a Muslim woman who established the world's first degree awarding university, the University of Qairawiyin. Hold on a minute. Ah, oh, God. Oh, God. I was, I was waiting for this. I was waiting for this. Qayrawin. Qayrawin University. Qayrawin. She's talking about Fatima al fahriya And it is not Qayrawin. She mentioned in her bio that she studies Arabic and Arabic grammars. And you don't know that it is Al-Qayrawan. Jami'at Al-Qayrawan. There is no Qayrawin. She mentioned she mentioned in the bio that she studies Arabic and Arabic grammar and she can't pronounce Al Qayrawan Jamiat Al Qayrawan Qayrawan University. She says Al Qayrawin. And by the way, let me tell you guys that let me t- let me tell you guys that that uh, that this <laughs> that uh, that this Fatima Al Fahriya, what which all. Muslim feminist that they claim she established the, the first university. She never established any university. It was Jami' Al Qayrawan, which is the masjid, the mosque of Al Qayrawan. And she inherited the amount of money of her father. Her father died, and she inherited a lot of money from her father. So her father was like was a good man, a rich man, and he died. She inherited a lot of money. And she was expanding the, the mosque. She was expanding the mosque. So she paid the money from her father to the mosque to expand the mosque. And you know what? Back there, they used to teach in the mosques. That's not an invention. They used to do that since the Prophet Muhammad era. They used to teach people in the mosque. So what did she did? She just paid the money of her father inheritance to expand the mosque. And after she died, they developed the education system in the mosque uh, to, be, uh, to have, uh, uh, to have a professions such as hadith, such as uh, uh, ilm al-sarf, 
علم النحو which is the Arabic sciences the Arabic language sciences الفقه الأصول العقيدة which is branches of Islamic Islamic professions Islamic scientific professions and that happened after she died after she died it developed so what Fatima al Fahriya did exactly read the story guys don't don't take it from from me read the stories of it her father dies she got a lot of money she paid it to the to uh, to Jami al Qayrawan which is the Qayrawan mosque they expanded it and they used to teach people in it and it developed after she died to be to become something like educational institution because it was so big she spent a lot of money from her father money that's what she did she did not invent an oxford university in islam no do you have anything to add the american no sorry i had some drama here sorry uh so you know i really missed the point i apologize uh it's the springs picked up here and a wasp just came in i got the lights and the windows open because i'm in the roof and it got hot sorry and uh i had to go kill a wasp i was it's you know it's a bug killer gun <laughs> He's like flying around, and wife was freaking out, and so sorry, sorry. Okay, no, she, I'll let you. She was mentioning that one there. Fa Fatima. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She she was mentioning Fatima al Fahriya, which is like known as the first establisher of uh, of university, educational university in the, in in the in the history. That was uh, that was in uh, Maghreb uh, Maghreb al Arabi area. And what did she did exactly? She inherited a lot of money from her father, and she spent it on. Jami uh, al-Qayrawan, which is Qayrawan Mosque, to expand it, to expand it, to buy some more land and build some more buildings attached to, uh, to, the, to the mosque. And you know what? They used to teach people in the mosque since, since Prophet Muhammad era. That's how people get, get, like, uh, used to be taught in the mosques. So she did not invent a new thing. She just spended her father money on the mosque and they expanded it they developed some uh, some something like educational system in the mosque after she died so she did not invent the wheel yeah hey well this goes back to what i was saying earlier about re historical revisionism that's basically what's happening again they're just doing it to islam now you know it's it's it's, it's the it's the feminist playbook you know historical revisionism yeah so let's try with the muslims like we don't have Radical feminist icon says it like very clear. We have to rewrite the history. And that's what she's doing, the Sabrine. She's re rewriting the history. Yeah. Yeah, I don't disagree, bro. 100%. That's man, they talk two hours, man. They so it all starts with the we're we're not we're not taking it all. We're taking just a few uh, few of her you, speech. Hot points, gotcha. Speech. Her argument, yeah. Command of Reed. The Prophet ﷺ himself was a teacher, al muallim, for both men and me women. But he emphasized on the education of Muslim women, dedicating an extra day for their education. The masjid, of course, was the hub for learning, and Muslim women were regular attendees. Okay, a quick question. Why did, why did Prophet Muhammad uh, dedicated one day for women and the rest of the days for men? Why? I mean, we generally know that free mixing is not a thing in Islam. I could assume that that, I mean, I'll make the assumption that it's just, you know, it's part of that. Because it, it, it was obligatory for men to teach their women. So not all women have to come to Prophet Muhammad himself. The okay. Sahaba will get the knowledge and then they will teach their women in home. So there is no equality between men and women getting education from Prophet Muhammad himself. There was mm. one day for critical issues, critical questions, like fixing problems and getting some knowledge. One day in the week and the rest of the day all with men. Does that make sense? Yeah, indeed. Absolutely. Husbands yeah. used to teach their, their, their wives. And even that, that was that was a mahar for one of the Sahaba. And to alimha ma ta'alim al Quran, which is you have to teach her what do you know about Quran. That was mahar. You have to teach your wife. MashaAllah. Yeah, there you go. Attendees. 
Aisha, Um Salama radiallahu anha wa hadith narrators and issued fatawa. Yes. Asma bin Ab- That's lie. Aisha, Um Salama, did, they, they, did not, they did not issue fatawa. They was yeah, not was giving thinking, fatawa like, from themselves. I was just wondering, like, when they, they narrate that? some hadith, they got some narration, yes, because they are like the, the Prophet wife, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They are they, his wife. So they hear some stuff and they tell it to people, but they did not do fatwa themselves. Indeed. Yeah, that's lie. That's lie. There is no laqab muftiya in Islam. There is no female muftiya in Islam. And especially like, uh, the, the, the prophet wife, or the Ummahat al Mu'minin. They was not giving fatwa from, from their mind. They was passing the yeah. knowledge from Prophet Muhammad because there was his wife. Agree. Okay. Abu Bakr, Um Adiya, Um Hani, Fatima bin Qais had extensive knowledge of hadith along with the other sahabiyat who memorized large parts of the Quran. The invaluable fiqh opinions of Safiya, Hafsa, Um Habiba, Juwairiya, Fatima, I can go on, could fill volumes. Now, did you know that between the 8th and the 15th century, there was such a rise of female scholarship in the Islamic world that it is unprecedented in human history. No civilization before Islam has witnessed anything of this magnitude. I'm talking about women, uh, female scholarship, an upsurge, unprecedented upsurge in female scholarship. Now, all of the great imams, the four great imams, had female teachers. Imam Shah. All the female, all, all the imams, all the four imams of Imam al Madahib, they have female teachers. Have you heard anything about that, Abu American? No. I know Ibn Taymiyyah had a female teacher, but I can't. I don't know her name. That's the only one I know of. I know Ibn Taymiyyah studied she's, she's under. Not, she, she's not. She's not teacher. She's uh, his uh, grandma. Uh, so, and I don't know what, what he studied. You know, maybe he learned how to write, read, write from her. I don't know. That I've heard this quoted, but I don't know that. Um, like I said, I find it odd that I don't know her name. There's no record of what she taught him you know, uh, or what her name is. So it's because we generally know who are the teachers. We all know that, uh, yeah, it's just odd because generally we, we we know the teachers, you know, of the great scholars of the past, you know. I'm just going to look real quick. Yeah, let me, okay, okay. Let me, let me, let me, uh, let me, let, let me give you a, uh, a small, a small, okay. Shiuch al-Shafi'i, Imam Shafi'i, he got, he got his shiuch, which is Sufyan ibn Uyayna bin, uh, bin Abi Imran al-Hilali, that's one. The second one mm-hmm. is Muslim bin Khalid bin Farwa zinji that's second. The third one is Sa'id bin Salim al-Qaddah, that's the third one. The fourth one is Dawood bin Abdul Rahman al-Attar. The fourth one is Abdul Majid bin Aziz bin Abi Ruwad. Did you hear any female teacher among them? There you go. They're all men. They're all yeah. men. Yeah, uh, this, is, this is what I'm saying. It's like I found it odd that nobody could ever mention who she was, you know? Uh, people, you know, I, it's not even a lot of people mention it. It's just some people say, yeah, the female scholar. It's like, okay, who was it? Hmm. Yeah, that's weird. So, yeah, no. Obviously a lie. Yeah. Yeah, cuz I cuz I I read the like I read about the, the uh, their their life in the be, in the beginning. Uh and uh, for example, Imam Ahmad was a Tilmid, Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal was Tilmid, which is uh, which is a student of Al Imam Al Shafi'i and Al Imam Hashim bin Bashir. Safi, so, uh, is that a female name? Safi Al Din? Safi? Yeah. Safi, no, it is a male, a male name. Safi. Okay, because I was thinking maybe I confused Ibn Al Qayyim. Safi Al Din is a male name. Safi Al Din. Yeah. 
Yes, I feel the no, no, the, the, I don't know. It's just some BS people I, say. I, I search inside out, like of the four of, of the four main uh, imam of Madahib. There is there is no yeah. females teacher. That's a lie. That's a lie. Yeah. And for for Ibn, for Ibn Taymiyyah, his grandma, she she called she's called Taymiyyah. And uh, there is some weak narration, which is uh, she used to take care of him, and he got his name after her, Ibn Taymiyyah, which is his grandma. Her name is Taymiyyah. But that's grandma. That's not teacher, because he have a lot of shiuchs that he got the knowledge from. And so mm. so so the other, uh, as well as all the the imma of madahib, which is Imam Ahmad Ibn uh, Malik. Uh, and Abu Hanifa, they all have male teacher, not female teacher. That's a big lie. Shafi was taught hadith by Sayyidah Nafisa, the great scholar from Medina. Um Darda, the wife of Abu Darda, the Sahabi, was a prominent jurist in the 7th century. Damascus is said that she would sit with male scholars in the mosque and have debates with them on fiqh. That's a big lie. Sahabiyat, they, they didn't use to, to do debates with men in the mosques. That's, that's crazy. a huge lie. Yeah, yeah. No. That's it's a not huge the, lie. It's not the adat in general of the, of the women of the past uh, of that region. We know this for a fact. This just goofy. It doesn't she, mentioned, like she, mentioned, she mentioned she mentioned Umm Darda, Umm Darda, which like she used to say Umm Darda herself. Wallahi, wallahi, kunna niyukhatibu rijalana kama tukhatibuna umaraakum, which is when we used to talk to our men, we used to call them like you talk to your princess, to your to your prince and to your Khalifa. Like that's yeah, yeah. how we used to respect our men. That's Umm Darda what she's quoting. Umm Darda, if she, if Umm Darda, radiallahu anha, she heard you, she, 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 she will throw you out of the window. How you talk to men? Yeah, yeah. it is goofball stuff, bro. I don't know where they get this stuff. Again, historical revisionism. Yeah, she would even lecture in the men's section, teaching them hadith and fiqh. Her lectures in the men's section so females used to lecture in the men's section inside the masjids yeah yeah okay bro i got Thanks nothing man. God that yeah, most, most of shiuch in in, in 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 arabic world they, do, they don't know english because if they if they know english they will roast her up yeah Bro, I got nothing on stuff like this. I mean, what do you say to just people who say stuff like this? To just, just be making up history. Just be making stuff up. Where did they get this at? She's reading from something here. It's like, what, did she write it herself? Did she, did she Google this? Where did she, where did she get this stuff? It's like, did she quote a source on where this comes from? This is See, this is the importance of, this is the beauty of Islam and and, and the, the system of Dalil. It's like, name your, okay, what's your proof? Present your proof, you speak the truth. What's your Dalil? Where does this come from? What book did you read this from? What 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 Sira? Anything? Show us uh, where's this book at? Wayne Kitab. <laughs> where's the book that you got this from? Who wrote it? Who told you this? What's the chain of narrators on that book? You know, I mean, or did you just make this up? Female and male used to have debating club in Al Masjid Al Nabawi in Medina Al Munawwara. That's what she's saying. Really, you can't find it today, but we're gonna go back like what 1200 years ago, and they really having it now. And they weren't what here is it. Here is the source of American. Here is the source Netflix. There you go. <laughs> oh, the, uh, ah, man, that's just oh, that just hurts reading it. Like it's funny, but it's like, oof, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> 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 Akram Nadwi, yes, Jawad, Jawad, Jawad got it because because uh, uh, Dan Daniel got this. He t he told her, and she got triggered. She got triggered. You you you're getting all of this from Akram Nadwi. He's a he's estrogen sheikh. He's like simp imam and uh, oh, like known in Europe, and he's okay, rewriting yeah. the history for them. 
Hey, tell Akram, uh, leave some of the girls for us, man. You know, okay, bro. You know, <laughs> all that simping, you just swimming in it, mashallah. You leave some sisters for us out here, okay? Uh, <laughs> why would you? Yeah, anyway. Cute shakes, like you call them. Yeah, you the call debate them? club in uh, in Masjid al Nabawi. Yeah. Cute yeah. shakes, yeah. The debate club in, in Masjid al Nabawi. So Omar bin Khattab used to go in, into the masjid and see women and men like debating with each other and they're shouting, you know, that's like, that's, that's how, 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 how it was. Just imagine really. it. Really. <laughs> Omar bin Khattab, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina, ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Sayyidina Omar bin Khattab says like when, when they, when they relocated to Medina, he says, Wallahi fi Mecca, Wallahi, uh, Wallahi fi Mecca, kunna lana uddu nisa'a shay'a. We used to consider females as nothing, like they, they, they don't have any major role. But mm -hmm. but when we when we come to Medina, the Medina uh, like the Medina uh, the Medina women used to argue with their with their husband, and Sayyidina Omar didn't like that, didn't mm -hmm. like that. Like why are you arguing with your husband? Why are you arguing with them? Like this is not supposed to be. Yeah. And when 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 his wife told told him about uh, that. That Hafsa, which is Umm al-Mu'mineen, uh, Hafsa is arguing with Prophet Muhammad, and you are not letting me to argue with you. Like he lost his mind. He go to Hafsa want to uh, want to hit her, and Prophet Muhammad like stopped stopped him. Like how do you argue with Prophet? Don't do that. And yeah. she and she was afraid because that's that was not the norm. You're telling me they have the debate club between men and women in the masjid. Debate what to top it off? Really? I mean, you're talking about like what, what debate what? What would they be debating? What is there to debate? You know, there was this guy, I forgot his name, man. I can't remember. It's in whose book is it? Oh, let me give me a second here. Oh, I forgot the name of the book. No, it's not Naqid the Salaf wa Asabu Hadith. Imam Asabuni's book. Uh, what's the name of Imam Asabuni's famous book? Someone help me. Someone help me in the comments. Imam Asabuni has a famous book. So anyway, in, in Imam Asabuni's book, he wrote the narration or he wrote the story about this individual. And I, I used to his name. I forgot. See, this is what happens when you stop studying. And he came and he, he came and he asked Omar about the, the verses that are in Mutashabe, you know, the, the unclear verses. And <laughs> Omar took a date palm rope and he beat him in the head till he he was bleeding and went unconscious. Then they put him on the back of his camel and sent it into the desert to carry him wherever it carried him. And you telling me y'all in here having whole debates about the religion? In, in an environment like that where it's like, yo, the religion is set. The pen is lifted. The ink is dry. There's no debate. Excuses are gone. Is it the Salaf? Nah, yeah. Is, is it the Salaf? It could be Aqidat the Salaf or Asabu Hadith. But I don't think Imam Masabuni wrote that. That was, uh, who was that? No, yeah, that's the one that Imam Masabuni wrote. Darn it, I can't remember the name of the book. I'll, I'll look it up. It's not Imam Sabuni. Yeah. It's a different book. It's from a different author. Yeah, that's okay. I'll find it. But anyway, um, bro, the first three generations, you, you ain't debating nothing. What are we talking about here? I, I just, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. It, it just doesn't make sense. None of it fits to what we know of Islamic history and how things went down. It's completely, it's just like, you know what I mean? It doesn't fit. <laughs> it's like, it's like a circle that know. big trying to fit into a square hole that's like four times smaller than it. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, exactly. Okay, let's uh, let's jump to the to the real heat here. Mm, yeah. Okay, it gets better, huh? <laughs> yeah, it it get it gets really better. So he says this is how he justifies this. That's the best part, just like a Muslim feminist justifies feminism in Islam, and you know. 
it's ridiculous when you put like a Western ideology into Islam. He says patriarchy is kawama, and he uses the word uh, which is in 434. But this is absolute nonsense because patriarchy existed in. Uh, Patriarchy still exists in Hindu societies. They burn their women. It exists in Jewish societies. Women are yeah. like subhuman. They can't yeah. even enter. So, uh, are they you have fasting. For that? They have fasting and you, prayer in other religions calling, too, and Islam. That means Islam is promoting paganism. Like, what's your no, point? Yeah, all societies no, no. are patriarchal. All religions what I'm are patriarchal. Saying, so no, what? you're wrong. No. Uh, which right which, now, which religion is not religion. patriarchal? Which religion listen, is not patriarchal? Listen. Which religion is not patriarchal? We have kawama. We don't have patriarchy. Kawama. Alma is not patriarchy, just like uh, jihad is not holy war. That's the difference. We have kawama, and kawama is different. Patriarchy is different. Pag patriarchy existed in pagan Arabia. You want to get, get paganism back? That's what it was all about. Women were hated. Women, that was a male chauvinistic, can, can, misogynistic can men, society. Can, can women be um, the sultan in Islam according to the sharia? No. But That's it's, Sure. Not because so only men, not, only no, men, no. only men can no. be the Khalifa. Only men yet. can be the Sultan. Only men, how do you defeat the yourself with an argument in, in, uh, in a marriage? Yes. How do you just defeat yourself in an argument? <laughs> he asked her like after after a few minutes. He he, he just <laughs> he just, he just asked her like a few Take minutes later. This. Like Kawama uh, <laughs> is not Kawama is not patriarch. Yeah, yeah, yeah that patriarchy. Kawama is not, patriarchy. Is not patriarchy. patriarchy. Okay, yeah. what is what is patriarchy? Okay, what is patriarchy? She 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 don't know how to define it. No, you she know what it is, bro? To define she, she, she's doing exactly this. We don't have guns. We have projectile weapons. <laughs> okay. Well, their projectile weapons have, and Daniel. Very is intellectually is well. Their weapons have triggers, and ours do too. But theirs are guns, and ours are projectiles. See, what? Yeah. So what is what, what is patriarchy? Here. Patriarchy is a social system, which yeah, it's a social system with with favors men in the positions of uh, positions of power in the society. It's a social system. With give the man's the leadership in the society. Does that apply to Islam? Yes. Yes. Does that contradict Qawama? No. It, compl it complements Qawama. Like Qawama, Qawama is, is, is applied uh, in, uh, in, the, in the family institution. Patriarchy applied to the whole society, starting from the like supreme leader like finishing with the like ending with the uh, with the family so patriarchy is is the whole umbrella about the whole society and qawama is part of it it does not contradict with each other it no. complement each other but, but she's goofy anyway because qawama actually does entail patriarchy simply because qawama it gives us it gives us not only responsibility over women, but it gives us authority over them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do we call authority over women from a Western perspective? Patriarchy. Well, from a sociological perspective. Just, I'm just saying, just, yeah, exactly. It's like, it doesn't, so she just, and she should be happy we have patriarchy. She should be happy we have patriarchy. The, the reason why she can be on the internet arguing with people right now is because of the patriarchy. That's why she, if we didn't have the patriarchy, what would she be doing? She'd be out, I don't know. Look at every, you know, let's 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 just loop this out a way different way for a second. Let's go off the reservation and come back on track here. There are known to be, in this day and age, three prominent societies that are uh, uh, matriarchies. Complete matriarchies. All three of those, all three of those societies don't have electricity they don't have running water they don't have indoor toilets they you know what you know you do know how they measure modernity one way they me measure modernity in a world is how much trash they produce and how much paved roads they have they have zero paved roads between three different societies on two different continents that are fully matriarchal 
You should be happy you live in a patriarchy. You know that nice heated floor that you have in your house? Dudes in a patriarchy that men under the control of other men built. Go get your matriarchy. There's three of them in the world. You can go out there. You can sit in a bush and go poop in a bush or a hole in the ground somewhere and like fetch your water from the river every single day and get your feet dirty because you ain't even got paved road. Go knock yourself out. Knock yourself out. Let's come. Let's bring this around. We're going to just Bear Grylls Island prove that even in the 21st century, this is 100 percent stands true to this day. We all know this story. He had the female island and the male island. And the women were like, we're going to show these dudes. And at the end of the show, they almost had to shut down the women's island because they were starving to death, being eaten alive by sand fleas living rough after like a month. The dudes have a, a full society with hammocks and just chilling and covered stuff they had to split the men and women up on the islands and what did the women do when they got men on the island they chilled like women do in a patriarchy to come up with stupid ideas like argue with each other mm. shut up about the patriarchy sisters it's done beautiful things for you it makes it so like in bears grails island you can chill on the beach and get sun while men build you nice little hammocks and coverings so you don't get eaten alive by sand fleas with your hole in the ground toilets those guys had functioning toilets after a week they couldn't get it right in a month shut up about the patriarchy patriarchy is beautiful yeah it's beautiful even who even who invented the, the the tampon and the birth control pill is men, by the way. Yeah, and, and here's the simple that's fact: why, there has to be rules. That's in why that. women can go out of home. Yeah, and I don't understand what the problem with the patriarchy is because there's rules even for men in the patriarchy. There's rules for men. Just obey the rules and everybody's happy. But you want to be little miss independent, free to do whatever you want to do. Well, you know what? Fine, go make your matriarchy and live in the bush your dirt roads and yeah. pooping in the bush yeah <laughs> sorry it makes me mad man i'm like what are you talking about yeah Obama is not patriarchy we don't need patriarchy it is only Kawama. okay who's who's the ruler of the muslimin men or women men who's the head of the household men who's the judges men who's the leader uh, the military leader men so she so gives me more honor. Well, so how how is this not patriarchal? How? Yeah. She should just. You have to be so ignorant to not know what does patriarchy mean to say Islamic society is not patriarchal. You're you're full of shit. They should just stop lying to everybody, themselves including. They should just say we want you men to build everything, but we want control over it. Here is now it. that we doesn't mean we're going to give it to you, but at least at least be honest. Don't lie we like we're stupid. We have to invest in that, Abu Amir. Yeah, you know, we have to invest in that. Bro. I don't, I don't disagree. But it's like, just please be honest. Stop lying. You know, we we may not give it to you, but at least we un we understand what the score is. We already know what the score is. Don't talk to us like we're stupid. Like we didn't build everything that you look at. Like dumb people did that. We're not stupid. You know, it makes yeah. me mad. It's insulting of the intelligence. Okay, you want everything I have and that I built. You want the power? No, you can't have it. I'm sorry. You, oh, you want it? Then do like Russia and Ukraine. Come take this from me, buddy. Can you take it from me? No. Shut up and get in the kitchen or I will full naked, rear naked choke you into submission. And some women might like that, but that's not this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Like what Habib did to McGregor, huh? Yeah, You exactly. will tap out. Uh, anyway. Okay, look, look, look. The twisted definition of Kawama. Men are the maintainers and protectors of women. And she's she's mentioning the, the, the ayah number. And that's lie. That's lie. That's lie because there is Mufassirin, which is, uh, they, uh, they have explained, they did explanation with Qawamuna uh, ala nisa rijalu Qawamuna ala nisa in Surah An-Nisa. Uh, which is alayhin. they are the leaders they are the maintainers they are the protectors why do you take out the leadership and the authority aspect of Kawama why that's very clear 
do you, do you know do you know how many tafsir we read that like uh, me and like uh, a sheikh friend of mine his his name is uh, uh, Basim Basim Shania he's from Algeria and I had a whole video he, he's talking about the meaning of qawama he he did a research following 150 tafsir 150 150 tafsir and he and he told me and he mentioned that that there is no single one of them deny the authority of man not even one mm -hmm. modern day feminists such as hijabi feminist they just wipe out the authority out of uh, out of qawama protectors and maintainers that mean you are an atm and a bodyguard that's mean that's how that's how is it you are an atm that give give us money and you are a bodyguard when we need you to protect us that's it they reduced the qawama to an atm with two arms to bodyguard that's it i can't disagree bro that's what they want they want all the benefits and none of the uh the, the 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 I guess if you want to call it negatives of it, yeah, obligations, responsibilities. You have some privileges yeah. and you have some responsibilities. Yeah, well, listen, listen. Who is it? Is it a man or a woman, or is it equal? Who is the head of a household? Who is the head of a household in marriage? I'm according to Islam. To on this. Answer. Why can't you answer the question? Yeah, yeah, I will. I've answered all. Hmm. She 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 never answered this question until the Obviously. end of the debate. Who is the head of the household? Who is the head of the society? Man or woman? She just like look, look at her papers. Oh, there's there's there, there's no answer for this. Like I will talk to you with other, other another subject. Like you put me in the corner. Like I, I look so stupid. So. But did I'm you catch her voice? It. Did did you catch her voice though? Play back that little short section. Listen to her voice. How? Just like, can you can you go back just a little yeah, bit and listen? Sure, to, just sure. play your play it back just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. In a marriage, according listen, to Islam, listen. who is it? Is it a man or a woman, or is it equal? Who is the head listen. of a household? Who is the head of a household in marriage, I'm according talk to Islam? To you on this. Answer. Why can't you answer the question? Yeah, yeah. I will. <laughs> I've answered all your questions. So that's this, patriarchy. Comes back. Islam. No, listen, Islam. That is, that is not men. patriarchy. Islam. Then you have to say. Then Where, you where's have your to definition qualify. of patriarchy? We have to look at the definition of patriarchy. Get, you're too. getting it because are you comparing Islam with Judaism? Then are you comparing Islam with Hinduism? Then they burn because of their patriarchy. They burn their women whenever a, a woman's husband dies. Or, for example, uh, the Christians consider a woman the source of all. It is the most stupid falsification that i ever heard repeatedly from yeah, females it really is it just look, doesn't make sense look that, that that's that's basically it there is a there is a guy he used the he used the uh, fruit knife fruit knife to kill uh, to kill people so we should ban fruit uh, ban knives from uh, from people people doesn't allow people is not allowed to to use knife why because there is a man he used the knife to kill uh, an innocent person. So what is the solution for that? We ban all the knives. No, I have a perfect example of that. So I met this girl in Austria. You know, I was supposed to get married to her. Mm. And um, I had this knife with me. And she just yeah. completely freaked out. Oh, my friend was killed. Her husband killed her with a knife, whatever else. And she just acted like, you know, I was walking around. Like if I was her, her friend's husband who was in jail just because I had a knife. In her mind, automatically, she's equated that a man who has a knife is automatically looking to kill a woman. Hmm. And I was yeah. just like, you know, at, how do you, you know, it doesn't happen that I'm speechless, but, you know, at times you just, the stupidity of some people. At that point, I realized I couldn't, I couldn't have anything to do with that woman, really, you know, in a fullest sense, because I'm like, you're too dumb to reproduce with the children will be stupid like you so you know because they're gonna spend more time the most time with you you know and you're an idiot but anyway I, i've noticed <laughs> that like <laughs> i noticed like a lot of women have this like this 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 carried over trauma from like situations that they see from one thing and so they automatically like you know my friend was raped and i saw something about rape of another woman on tv and therefore all men are rapists 
even though we know that the vast majority of great, them great. are not. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Great. Great. Yeah, sorry. I apologize. Uh, yeah. So we know that, you know, the vast majority of men are not grapists, you know, but because there are some who are, it's like, you know, most of most of the people who kill children domestically, they're women. Well, now I got to what? Yeah. Now, well, yeah. you know, if I have kids with you, you're going to be a killer. All women are dangerous to children. It... Doesn't make sense. No, it's just stupid, bro. It's just it's the dumb people. Yeah, seven, seventy-five percent. Yeah, so around seventy around seventy percent of uh, of children who got killed from one of the parents are killed by uh, by the female, by yeah. the mom. Yeah, it's ridiculously. So, from that perspective, I, I will I, I will never have any I will never have any children with a woman. Why? Because women are so dangerous. That's stupid. That's yeah. stupid. But that's what they do. They have us. the patriarchy and they burn they, they, they burn women. Yeah, they have patriarchy in India and they in, in her country and they, they burn women to death. So yes. patriarchy is bad. Really. Exactly. Patriarchy is the only social system that worked since the beginning of the human history. Well, unless you There's like no living, like, other you know, system survived. No, I mean other systems work, but I mean you gotta like you know not having paved roads and pooping in the bush. Just saying, if that's the, how you want to live. That works. I, I don't want to live like that. You know, <laughs> if you want to consider that working, yeah, knock yourself out. Pay, you know, matriarchy. Go matriarchy. Yeah, can't make toilet paper. You know, you got to hope you don't get the bush with the itchy, you know, the leaves behind the rash, you know, when you wipe yourself. Because yeah, so, <laughs> all the guys are gone. They don't make toilet paper no more. <laughs> Who's going to cut down the tree? Is that then you have to say, oh, my God, this. But the thing is, Kawama, you have misdefined Kawama. Kawama is not patriarchy. Our women, uh, our men are our protectors, our maintainers. And we Muslim women reciprocate this with our loving obedience. Kawama is no slave master relationship. Allah says, We are awliya. There's no, uh, you know, tug of war. Who's going to be the leader? Because we don't. That's, she, uh, that's she just not that contradict yourself. No, no, but did she just miss that she contradicted herself? So men are protectors, maintainers, women, and we in exchange, we, we give our loving obedience. She said that. What is obedience? Yeah. So, we, but we there's no, there's no, no who's going to be in charge. Not. Wait, wait, wait. So nobody, wait, wait, wait. So we give our obedience, but nobody's in charge. How exactly does that work? I'm obedient to someone, but that person's not in charge. Help me with this. Ghost. My, I'm going to get a nosebleed from trying to figure this one out. My head is going to explode. Ghosts. Ghosts. Wait. <laughs> I'm obedient to someone, but he's not in charge. So, what? Make this make sense. I'm obedient to Allah, but Allah is not in charge. I mean, I mean, I'm just saying for the purpose of like, so we can understand this from all aspects of like from top to bottom. This is a very clear example, guys. I'm not saying this, this is not, this is not correct. Obviously, Allah, of course, you know, is, you know, he, for sake, he, sake of argument that, yeah, but for the sake of understanding what she's saying. I will obey the law, but there is no law. I'll obey the law, but there's no authorities, you know? Hello, officer. I obey the law, but you are not an authority. You just broke the law. I'm taking it to jail. Okay. What? <laughs> People are stupid, bro. It, you know, yeah. Daniel, she's, she's, you quoting know Aya, she's quoting Aya. She, she's quoting Aya, which much. is Al-Mu'minun, and that's in general sense, which is they, uh, they wish they, they should take care of each other. That's al muminun in general. Like when he when he mentioned the gender relations, it was very clear in Surah An Nur. Al rijalu qawamuna ala nisa, wal rijali alayhinna daraja. They have they have above like they have, God favors men over women. It's very clear in the leadership positions. 
it is very clear there is 150 tafsir saying the same thing men have the authority we don't need to uh, to fight with each other like because nobody uh, uh, there is no there is no authority needed here there is no authority needed it is the egalitarian religion that you invented really you know bro i mean may allah bless our brother daniel but um uh i think he gave her too much props and too much credit you know especially two hours worth yeah i mean there would have been about like you know a little bit into that and i'd have just been like look hold up here manigas you uh you just gotta stop with that goofy you know i i i, I wouldn't be able to take her seriously you know just props to the brother for his ability to keep a straight face and and you know you know what she accused him to be isis and qaeda and he was t- like he was telling her like you're risking me and my family members by by assume by saying that and she 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 was laughing like it is very easy for her to say you're qaeda you're isis you're terrorist you're blah 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 and we know we all know he's not he's a content creator yeah Goofy. I don't know, bro. I mean, that's just goofy to say something like that. But I mean, obviously, it's like, you know, what can you take Rep- serious from a person? Destruction. Reputation yeah. destruction is a feminine feminine tactic. Reputation destruction. I will destruct his reputation. That's what that's they do, it. bro. You want to you wanna, you wanna go for a few minutes? No, no, go, go ahead, man. No, I'm good. Let's, let's just keep moving, bro. Because I can't, I, you know, I can't take this lady in her conversation serious. It's just, yeah, she's. He, he got, he got the patriarchy def- definition for her. He got the patriarchy definition for her. Mm. Like for her. <laughs> compete in leadership. We don't compete in the dunya. Who cares about who's the leader? We care about who's going to get. Who cares about who's the leader? Everyone cares. The Quran cares, the Sahaba cares, the Mufassirin cares, the Arba Madahib, a Imma of Madahib, four Madahib. She cares. They cares. Everybody cares to know who is the leader. Because if there's no leader, everybody's lost. Tell her she's going to get married and got to pay all the bills. All of a sudden, there's going to have to be a financial leader in the house, and her Islamic right says it's the man. All of a sudden, there's going to be a financial leader in the house. Guaranteed. She cares. Hmm. But the hereafter, actually, even within men, they shouldn't compete within the leadership because it's a, a you know somebody who yearns for leadership should never become the leader. That's how Islam works. What are you talking about? This doesn't make sense. So Islam doesn't you know, care about the leader. No, I said no. we as Muslims. We as we Muslims don't care about the leader. Aspire. No, we shouldn't aspire to be leaders. We should aspire to be uh, to earn the hereafter. How, but I want to. You've, you've been going on and on, so let me give a response. You can't just keep sure. talking. This is not your lecture hour. So this, I brought up the definition of patriarchy from Merriam-Webster Dictionary: a social organization marked by the supremacy of the father and the clan or family, and the legal dependence of wives and children, and the reckoning of descent and inheritance in the male line. So this is ex- this I'm, is patriarchy. I'm you Islam the is patriarchy. We Islam, don't. Yeah, we don't I gave care you the Quran. about Merriam Webster. We <laughs> care about the Quran. The Quran says Qawama, just like the Quran says jihad. Now Merriam Webster would uh, define jihad as holy war, um, you know, uh, conducted by Muslims. That's wrong. Rubbish. You said jihad you said is Islam. You said Islam doesn't have patriarchy. So we have to look at yes. what the word patriarchy means. It's, no, Islam has qawama. <laughs> we have to look at the word what qawama means. Uh, Daniel, you are doing the opposite thing. What, what is patriarchy? I asked you. I asked you. What's the definition okay, of patriarchy? Go on with this. What's the, what's the definition the of patri- What's the definition of patriarchy? What you you tell me? Wh- how was the Hindu society patriarchal? Tell me, what's the give me a definition? Give me a definition of patriarchy. Tell me why pay- you have a slide. You prepared a, a whole slide with the word Come patriarchy. On, what is the definition of patriarchy? We don't care about what okay, we don't care do, about do the we... definition of patriarchy about American. We don't care. We don't know. I don't know. I don't care. We don't care. But the Islam is not patriarchal. Okay, what does patriarchal mean? I don't care. How do you deny then? 
I got to come back and ask myself, what does this woman even want? All this arguing, all this back and forth, what does she want? She wants to expose Daniel. Uh, she, she, she accused him. Like she said, I know. I will, uh, I will expose you now in the air. Like, what? You are a, a man rights activist. And he starts laughing. Am I a man rights activist? <laughs> I'm I'm with Amar right there. I can't take this anymore. I, I, this she's crazy, bro. She's she's not okay in her head. She's not okay in her head. You know, I truly believe that feminism and and like veganism are like mental illnesses, man. I, I, think, they're, I think they're both mental illnesses, you know. And I don't know who's crazier, you know, because uh, they just be talking some wild stuff, man. There's yeah, no she's, point. She's being goofy. At the end of the day, that yeah, she's goofy, and it just doesn't make sense with her conversation. It's like, what are you trying to attain? What are you trying to achieve with this? Okay, so now you have no patriarchy, uh, and you have no no leader. Okay, this is why, and I'm sorry, I have to bring this up again, but this is why female societies, you know, female-run societies, don't have toilets. There's no leader. There's no. Just, hey, it's just a free for all. It's just quick. It's just chaos. Hey, there's no leader. There's no, hey, we shouldn't be striving for leadership. No, you don't strive for leadership, but there are clear uh, uh, attributes that a leader has. And if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing in life, then those attributes come to the forefront. And let, I just hate to say it, men show superior attributes when it comes to leadership, because you know what? Leadership also, yeah, she is a walking contradiction. Leadership also includes the ability to protect your people and your tribe. And I'm sorry, ain't no scrawny arm girl going to go downstairs when there's a bump in the night looking to see who the burglar is. And you're definitely not going to do that for a tribe or society. Oh, look, the enemy tribe's coming with pitchforks and torches. Uh, all right, ladies, there you go. All that cutting you were doing in the kitchen, now is the time to go ahead and put that in the real practice. It's just not, you know, I'm sorry. Yes, we, we yes, Islam is a patriarchal religion. It is. And she don't have to like it, even if she, even if this girl doesn't like it, it's your problem. Yeah, that's why she, that's why she's divorced and she can't keep a man. Yeah, exactly. That's why she. You, you have to be a woman to not be able to keep a man. I mean, Allah Akbar, you can't keep a man. She's she's focusing on she she's doing the wrong assignment. She's doing the wrong assignment. It's like you you know you're doing math homework and you're turning it into your English teacher. What are you doing, woman? You can't keep a man and you got a hoo-ha and boobs? Are you... How? How? This... Feminism is not your conversation. You really need to just go back to the fundamentals. You know what I mean? It's like me talking about, like, engineering or something, you know, and I'm working as, like, a street sweeper. It's like, maybe we want to take, you know, maybe we want to finish my engineering degree first. Can you get the basics down before you start talking about more details that are, like, outside your scope? What is your scope right now? Like, it's hard to even listen to her. I'm just looking at this walking train wreck of an intellectual nightmare. It's not even a nightmare. It's this molestation. Do you know what she is? She's just, she's like a, you ever argue with a kid? And it's like, you know, hey, why did you do that? Because yeah. you shouldn't do that. But I wanted to. Yeah, but why did you do that? Because it, it's kind of like the conversation that he's having with her. Respect to the brother for going two hours with her. I, I don't know how he did it. I'd have probably just disconnected. I'd have just been like, oh, <laughs> internet problems. He, he's, he's so patient. He's so patient. He's, he's super so patient. patient. And like brother, brother Daniel, I will, I will, get, I will, get, I'll give it to him. He's more polite than me. A lot, a lot, yeah. maybe a hundred times more. I will I, I roast her up. That would be sarcastic really? to the point she'd like want to leave. <laughs> yeah, bro. Okay, let's uh, let, sorry, yeah, please continue. Let's finish that. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a hard time. I'm not gonna lie, I'm struggling now. Tablets, <laughs> I'm struggling. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go, let's go. Okay, <laughs> I can't. It's about on your slide. It's, okay, it's on yeah. your slide. So, if you don't define I mean. it, if you don't define it, how can you say it's not equal to Kawama? That is so, I, I must say, I thought I was actually debating a Harvard graduate. Are you a graduate? Yeah. So that's really funny because we are talking about Kawama and we all, all we need to do is what is Kawama? All we need that. And this is a 
you know, terrible thing that Daniel also does, which I really wanted to bring to his attention. Maybe he does it unintentionally, maybe. Uh, maybe he needs to correct it. He actually slanders Umar radiallahu an, a Sahabi, one of the best. He says in his uh, article, uh, it's okay to ban Muslim women from masajid, uh, that the fact that Umar radiallahu an issued a verdict banning women from the mosque in his time. And the well, well, do you, do you know who who says that? لو علم لو علم لو علم الرسول ما أحدثت النساء وبعده لما نعهن المساجد. سيدتنا عائشة says that says yeah. if Prophet Muhammad knows what women did after his death, he will ban them from going to 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 masajid. Who says indeed. that? أم المؤمنين عائشة. Yeah. She said indeed, she if. Did. If Prophet Muhammad was living until now and he knows what women are doing right now, he will ban them from going to Masajid. So is that wrong? I bet she ducked that. That's Umm al-Mu'mineen says then. Bet she she didn't cover yeah. that statement from a woman about women. And 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 by uh, and and by and by the way, by, by the way, Prophet Muhammad says in Hadith Sahih, the best place that she will get the most ajr is her khidriha uh, khidriha which is means the uh, the sleeping the room for the room, room yeah yeah the innermost you part know, of the her sleeping house room. Room. yeah the sleep the sleeping room of uh, of of her yeah. place it is better than the the, the masjid nabawi and masjid haram so if 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 the supreme leader of the country says we need no no more women in the masjid like is he wrong no he have the ability to say that because she has alternatives, but for men, it is obligatory for them to do jama'ah in masjid. It's not obligatory for women. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, absolutely. But they ain't trying to hear this. Men have more mm-hmm. obligations than women, and exactly. they, they exactly. conveniently miss that part. The companions okay. accept mm-hmm. This is absolutely to be like you know what i really want to make my career because times are tough we are in a state of crisis so brothers and sisters we are all the umar of rasulullah the knowledge of this deen is his inheritance to us we have a duty to protect and share this inheritance the basic foundation of our deen is education we are a tradition where a religious scholar like abu hanifa wrote an extensive treatise uh, on mathematics, we are a tradition where a pioneering uh, physician like Ibn Nafis was also a Shafi jurist. A tradition where a female scholar like Umm Hani raised four of her sons to become scholars of the four Sunni schools. She was her. She she raised four of her sons to be uh, to be scholars. She raised four men to be scholars as men. So, mm-hmm. But don't you contradict yourself right now? My question is, why would she do otherwise anyway? Right. Isn't that her mother? It's like, I mean, it's like, why would why would you not do that? I mean, what is she saying that a man wouldn't do that? It does. It, this is what goes back to what I was saying. These are not things that are defined by gender. These are that's defined by a parent. A parent wants what he wants success. He or she wants success for their children and their offspring, right? So why wouldn't you raise them to be scholars yeah. or what's considered to be your most prestigious or most, you know, uh, 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 a successful role as long as it's something permissible uh, in their time? Is that is that gender based? It's not. Gender yeah. Based. Yeah. But my, my, my point, my, my point, my point is she raised like she had a family and she no, raised no, four children. She raised yeah, four, men, four, four, four men. Four men. Four Man, she did not like. She she was she was not strong, independent. Don't need man and like oh, yeah, uh, okay. kept herself point, busy man. with yeah, getting yeah. knowledge. No, she got a, a family. Yeah, yeah, she's better than her because she could keep her family together. And she had four sons in Sunni. School. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, bro. Sorry. No, I was just saying. Yeah, it's like yeah, she's talking about a woman that's better than her. She kept her family together to the point that she had kids that she could actually raise and send out. This girl couldn't even stay married long enough to get pregnant. So it's like, you know, it's like, how are you using examples yeah. that you're not even following? 
So now you're talking about an example you're not following to top it off. She's the ideal woman, but you, you can't even be her. You, you, how are you idolizing someone you can't be like, that you're not like, that you're not trying to follow? Hmm. She, she, she prepared a lot for, uh, for the debate with the slides and still lost. Yeah. And like she's, she's presenting herself as a winner. She said uh, on, on her uh, YouTube channel, she, she issued a video which is uh, that she, she destroys uh, a man extreme, an extremist uh, man rights activist. Okay. Extremist man rights activist. That's, that's how she described them. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And man rights activists. So so is is then is then a friend with Paul Elam or what? Yeah. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. Follows. We are are a tradition where young female scholar Fatima bin Saad al Khair traveled three continents to seek knowledge. Brothers and sisters, you belong to a tradition where men and women together, yes, together. Uh, and I've cited enough works. I've cited our classical uh, texts. You can go and read our classical texts to see this. It's not that I haven't cited anything. He lies again regarding that. Together we created science and technology just to serve the cause of Islam. We all have a new to resurrect the tradition. Just like the Sahaba and the Sahabi had built the foundations of the Islamic civilization, cooperating with each other as awliya, wal mu'minuna wal mu'minati, ba'duhum awliya ba'd, cooperating with, with each other in the market, in the masjid, and in the home. It's a complete lie, my brother Daniel actually says, Shifa bint Abdullah was no, uh, you, know, uh, you know, she wasn't over uh, Muslim women, like in charge over Muslim women. That was another woman. That was a uh, what was her name? Uh, Suja or something. Shifa bint Abdullah was on economics. She was a chief security officer. This is written in the hadith. She had to check the uh, What's quality the What's of the, stuff. What is the Arabic word for Muhasiba. chief? Muhasiba. <laughs> Muhasiba. Muhasiba. Hisba. Do you, what's Hisba? Hisba. What do you mean by what's Hisba? The uh, the actual job profile is written in the same uh, article. What is Muhasiba? I mean, uh, what is, what is it? What is it? actually means to, uh, you know, to uh, surveillance, basically. You go and check. <laughs> not on the word Hespa. women. It's written. I'm sorry, not on the women. She used to check the quality of the goods. It was a market. What are women? You're, you're actually arguing that there weren't no women. And they in, only in the dark, they used to go to the masjid. Why would she be uh, looking for women in the market? You don't make sense. So anyone now in the market. It, in the masjid and in the home, this co-op. Could you imagine being married the to way, the uh, this, 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 Could God, you imagine just no. like looking? I would be like, my. I'd be like, Allahu Akbar, woman. If you don't shut up and find something to wash, I'm not Sadum. I'm I'm not Sadumi. I'm not Sadumi. I'm not Rainbow to marry this woman. No. No, I'm a straight man. So the, we, we, we have to I have to mention that that this is that the narrative that she's talking about is so weak, is so weak, which is uh, Shifa was uh, uh, in control of Hisba in, uh, in the in the market. Like this narrative itself, it, it's not uh, it's not authentic. It's not genuine. It's not mm. sahih of, of the Sira. But feminists keep push, pushing it keep pushing it like she was the ceo of the market of the global market in medina no 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 bro it's it's kind of hard to just take this entire conversation serious in the sense of like you know listening to what she's saying uh, this is more this is more credit to daniel than it is to like anything that she has to say i mean it's obvious that everything she like 90 percent of what comes out of her mouth is bottled She's like reading from a script quite literally. And she's, you know, yeah. she has no free thought to actually maneuver outside of that script. Like, like Daniel said, you use the word patriarchy, but the, and you, and you say it's not equal to Kawama. You want to define Kawama, but you don't want to define patriarchy. This is a person. She, she, she has no capacity whatsoever to be the woman or the women that she's described in all of her, 
her just monologue that she's written there that she expected to come on and read, you know, like reading out of some book. It's quite obvious, you know, so it's kind of hard to take her serious. It's, it's more of a credit to Daniel than it is to anything she has to say at all. It's just a credit that he actually sat there and took mm-hmm. it serious. And even then, he wasn't really taking it serious. You, you see his face? He was laughing. He was, he was just laughing. He was smiling and giggling like, what the heck? Like, sur- like where did I land? Is it... I don't know how he did it. I don't know how he does it, man. You know, it's yeah. it's kind of hard to like, you know, just listen You'll to like, this now. You'll like this. Oh, uh, here's my question for you. You attacked my wife and called her names. Are you married? A lot of people are asking in the chat, are you married? No, not as yet, but very soon. Are, are you once do you want to get married? Obviously, yes. I, are you about engaged? To actually, I'm getting married. No, not as yet. I mean, that's such a personal question. Why would you do that? You you attacked my wife. You attacked my when wife. Did I say, you, when did, you said you studied me for a year. Yeah, you did. You I attacked her. I, I, I didn't attack her. I did. So, I attacked her positions, sister, look, her ideas. Look, They're I'm, wrong. Actually, look, we, do you want me to share a video listen, of no, no, talking me, about Khadija and she's very listen, listen, she's listen, 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 listen. So you're not married. You want to get married soon. But what are you doing for that? I would recommend not giving Listen. lectures and giving yeah, these kinds right. of lessons if Thank you're trying you to find so a husband. Thank you so much for your well. The, the <laughs> people you who so helped you, you should ask the people who helped you. Listen, with Listen, your, with you your, want, no, no, no. You, you gave your, you gave your, you gave your whole spiel. Let me talk. Don't interrupt. Okay. You uh, got some people to help you. I assume when you're in preparing for this debate, ask them. Maybe they will marry you. Maybe you'll find a good suitor. I'm, I'm really not trying to make fun of you. I think it's sad actually that our sisters are not able to find husbands excuse and they're not me, able to get I didn't married. Say, but, 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 hey, please, please. Excuse me, I didn't it's say because, that it's not because anyone. It's not because, listen, listen, listen. You said you're not engaged. So the problem yeah, is, but that it's women's, mean, look, you're interrupting that, me, please. Stop. Look, look, you had your talk. You had your talk. Why'd you keep interrupting? You're not. Is it embarrassing? Sorry, because, is it embar- embarrassing? Are you embarrassed? embarrassing. Right no, then let me finish. Not. I let me embarrass finish. you. In, no. Let me finish. Yeah. Let me finish. Look at your caliber. Look, look at your caliber. You, I'm sorry. You need to look at your caliber. That you uh, couldn't answer any of my questions. That meant, look, look, you are interrupting You me. couldn't answer. No, because <laughs> this you, is, look this at your so caliber. You couldn't answer. No, you couldn't answer any of my intellectual questions. Now you have nothing to talk about. And you're like, what the hell am I going to tell her? Okay, let's talk about this. That doesn't make sense. Let's be intellectual. Just because I don't, I said this doesn't mean that I don't have or my family doesn't have somebody in mind. I said soon doesn't mean that it's, you know, those are private things. Let's not talk about that. But if you want, you, on you college, talked about uh, my whole family. Bit, you're, you're still talking about my wife. I'm sorry. Look, no, no, Sophia, I'm sorry. This is your future. This is your future. If you don't, <laughs> if you don't get See away from this America? feminism, this is your future. Right. Look at these, look at these cats. That's funny. Okay. Okay. Listen. Literally, you're showing. I don't your want caliber. this. I don't want this. Literally, for you. you're 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 showing your caliber. You could you need answer to, you any need one to of wake your up. questions. You need to wake up. Okay. Now I need to go because this doesn't make sense. You're showing your caliber, and you haven't answered any of my questions. And that just shows where you're coming from. That's you're going to be in the market from. for cat food, you know, cat toys. This is your future, Sophia. Yeah. I want you to really understand that this is where feminism leads. I don't so want you that think for I'm you. I'm a feminist. Uh, are you, I, I, do you still is, think I'm whatever, a feminist? Whatever you want to call uh, it. it whatever Kati, you want to call it. Uh, whatever, is it, is it, is whatever you want to call it. Is Ibn also a feminist? Is Ibn Kathir also a feminist? <laughs> whatever is, uh, you want to call um, it. Is Salama also a feminist? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, now, whatever you uh, want to call. Listen, have some respect for yourself. I know you're used to all of these antics. <laughs> now it's way over time. I've made my points. Alhamdulillah. This, this is I a have, good one. I've I've yeah, that's cute. You can tell Um Khalid to oh. get bad. When this... when when you what did you say in that hadith uh, in that in that uh, article of yours? Husbands have a right to check their wives. So when you check her, as in you beat her up, maybe that's <laughs> what she can have a you know, maybe her pastime with cheer herself up with. That's what you say, right? What about Look, we're, uh, we're, we're really rape. making, we're really married trying to, to help you. Well. We're tr- trying to help you, sister. We want you to get married. We're trying to help you. Why don't you understand that? We I want to help you get married. 
listen. So listen, we're just telling you, you, you have to make better decisions. Okay. You have I'm to make better decisions you. about your personal life. Listen, listen. In order to get married, I'm, it's it's not men's fault. <laughs> okay. She she uh, rage quit. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Rage quit. What is your thoughts on American? <laughs> yeah, she rage quit because he hit he hit, he hit the nail on the head. She's she's mad at men, yeah. and so she's taking yeah. an entire lifestyle that just portrays that, which is patriarchy sucks. I'm mad at men, you know, for whatever reason, you know, and um, I can't get one or I can't get the one I want. No man in his right man mind of any sort of value is going to want her, you know. Like I said, imagine being course, married to her. Imagine being married to her. Could you imagine that? Uh, I have to be gay to marry such a person. I'm not. Bro, bro, I just, I don't know how that would work with me, man. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I don't think any man can do it. You'd have to be such a, and this goes back to what I was saying, she can't get the man she wants. You'd have to be such a castrated, you know, just, just, just effeminate loser to marry her. You'd have to be the yeah. antithesis. The exact opposite of what masculinity is to have to deal with that day in and day out to actually just swallow that that just that could you imagine listening to that voice every day all day just arguing like that it's like dude don't debate me about the dishes just wash them okay you are the dishwasher you want you don't like the patriarchy you watch this go wash the dishes <laughs> uh, bro Bro, she's just mad at men and she's mad at the world. She's yeah, mad because she can't. Good luck what to the mother who will, be, uh, who will be her husband. Yeah, she you have to be into men to her. be attracted to her. You can marry her. There's some prospects, my family, me. Oh, yeah, soon. Uh, who? Who? Again, come back to it. Who? That's why she rage kid, because there was nobody. There's nobody. Ain't nobody coming for that. Ain't nobody checking for a woman like that. Nobody. Yeah. As Kevin Samuel says, buy a dog and die alone. Yep. Absolutely. And she knows it, I think. And that's why she's just raging on. Who is she? This is why I was saying, going back to like you failed. You know, most women uh, who are in that position that she's in, they, they just completely misunderstood the assignment. It's like you, you're not going to find your happiness there. You're not going to find your happiness there. Trailblazing through the world. Okay, go ahead. But dudes don't like that. That's what men are looking for. And whether they like to admit it or not, whether they want to accept it or not, you know, being strong and independent is cool. But they all want a man. They all want a man. Even these MGTOW guys. Yeah. We can put this to men. All those MGTOW guys, men going their own way, they all want women. That's why they're always talking about them. That's why feminists are always talking about men. And that's why mm -hmm. MGTOW are always talking about women. Because they want one. So stop. Stop. Stop doing what drives your the opposite away it's not attractive that's you know that argumentative disagreeableness that she's displaying what she is attracted to and this is why i was saying play back her yeah. voice this this is the point i was going to make but i didn't make when i said play back her voice you could see it in her posture you could hear it in her voice you could tell by the way she was she was playing she has a degree if not considerable degree of attraction to daniel i mean direct attraction it may not seem apparent, but 100%, mm. that woman's got the hots for Daniel. There ain't, she didn't follow him for a year so that she could debate him. Yeah. That's not how women work. It's not how it works with women. Yeah. As the relationship guy, let me tell you, of course. she ain't following some dude she hates for a year. So I'm just saying, of course, she loves, she's trying to become what she's attracted to. And then when it didn't work, what she do? She rage quit. Because the average man doesn't like that stuff. And, and you know what? Like what? What make me? What? What make me laugh uh, most? Like she's she's telling him to buy for his wife uh, like a, a cat. Well, yeah. he have seven actual children. They don't need cat. You exactly. need cat. Yeah. Loser chicks. <laughs> they don't get it. Struggle. Yes, that she likes Daniel. Daniel. Struggle, it, you know, struggle, I would put a year's salary on it. If it was permissible to bet, <laughs> I'd put a year's salary on it. Struggle, yes, absolutely. Yeah, following him for, for a year, reading all of his articles, so it's like watching all of his videos. 100%. Why? Struggle. She, if you I hate know someone, I cannot, I cannot hear him talk for one minute. 
she's obsessed. She's obsessed, struggle. That's not, she don't just like him. <laughs> <laughs> she getting sweaty on her hijab talking to him, okay? Let me tell you that right there. <laughs> not that bad sweat either. She's like, what's that? That's why I said, listen to her voice. Listen to her voice through that whole debate. You know, but then, you know, mashallah, brothers yeah. ain't got the experience I got with women. Man, lie, keep it that way. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm telling you. She should just come out and be honest about it. Like, Daniel, man, Daniel, uh, you know, I want to get that halal gok gok, man. Hit me up, man. What's going on, man? Let's get married. Why, have, she got, why did she go through all this stuff? Why you got to go through all this? It's like, just say you don't understand attraction as a woman and how it works with men. And just say it. Just say, Daniel, I don't I don't get it. You just got to tell me and I'll do it. She ain't an arnachist. You know what she is? She's a woman confused about attraction and she don't know how to attract the man she likes. And then when her attraction yeah. tactics didn't work, what did she do? She get frustrated. You know what she literally did? She literally rage quit in the same way that when a guy's not attracted to a woman, she's like, are you gay? And then she walks off. That's basically what she just did to Daniel. My my quote unquote attraction tactics didn't work. I'm out. Engineering certificate. Hundred percent. Yes. That's why she started off trying to impress him. Rapport. Hmm. I knew something was up right there. Now it all makes sense why she started like that. It's like, why would you start with that? It all makes sense now. She's using like the attraction markers that she finds attractive. You're a Harvard graduate. You notice how she like prayed that big. You know, it's just, this is the stuff she likes. Mm. She likes that stuff. Uh, okay, let, let me respond here to, to Ikram. Ikram says maybe Daniel can fix her. It is not the matter that you can. Somebody asked me one time, can you uh, can you fix a feminist if you marry her? Yes, I can. I can. I do that. I reprogram people for a living. I do that. Most I men aren't ready that. to be the guy that it takes to but, change a feminist to a non-feminist, though. Yes, but does it? Is she worth it to spend hundreds of hours try to behavior analyze a female and try to adjust adjust it one like step step by step, like for months or for years? Does it? It, is it worth it to be fixed? No. I will get a You'll better one because I can. You damage yourself trying to fix her. Most men don't have it in themselves to, to fix that type of woman. You have to be such a savage that um, you become almost the exact opposite of everything that you thought yourself as a man is supposed to be and want to be. Trust me. Trust me. Most men aren't willing to, you know, yeah. it takes a special type of, and you'd be surprised. A woman like that will talk about feminism, whatever else, and she'll stay with a guy who will treat her in the most depraved way because that's what she seeks, absolute dominance. That's why she's looking for an argument, and that's why she's looking to lose. But it's like, you know, you have to absolutely, like, dominate her to the point where it's like, who are you going to become doing it? Yeah. The you really want to be that monster? The squeeze. Yeah, it's not. You don't want to become that monster. It'll turn you into somebody you're not. Can Daniel fix her? Probably. Should he try? Absolutely not. Yeah, not worth it. Not worth it. It's not worth it. No. Like it's like somebody is telling you you can get uh, like a, a kilogram of of lemon out of the tree. It's hundred kilometers away. Or you can get it from downstairs for two dollar. What you gonna do? I will pick it for you know. for two dollars. You want the girl that says, you know, oh, well, men and women are equal when you ask her to make you a sandwich. So they're just bringing the most classical thing or the girl that says, OK, daddy, which one do you want? I mean, why are you going to battle yourself on fixing someone? Get the OK, daddy girl. There's Muslims out there yeah. like that. <laughs> As Abu American said, <laughs> the, the, there are 18 uh, uh, there are women turn 18 years old every day. Why bother with reprogramming a 40 years old post-wall feminist self-centered woman? Why? Don't do it. Yeah, don't do it. Yeah, that's it. 
juice doesn't work the squeeze guys no there's a lot of options there's a lot of options like if you see any red flag just leave it leave it woman in danger zone red flag woman with scientific degree is a red flag lawyer is a red flag <laughs> medicine major is a red flag yeah, bro. Real, really, really. You know, you, you know where is, where is the most cheating uh, in uh, in women's field, in female field, the no. highest rate of cheating? It's in the medicine. No, no. The highest, the highest, the highest rate of cheating in in the medicine field for female. The highest rate of destroying men is in the law field, which is by lawyers. The lawyer can really know how to take you down. She know it. She know how to take you down, how to destroy your life, your past, and your future. So why should I marry like a lawyer or a doctor or a mechanical engineer? Why? Why? I don't need to fix anything. No. I don't need a design. I don't have jet engine back in, the, in my backyard to, to be fixed. <laughs> You know, I think the most important point got covered at the end, though. Daniel really covered the most important point, which is, you know, your future is cats. You know, she really needs to just get it together. No, I mean, we laugh, but the reality is it's like, let me get let me get a one in the comments for every single guy in here that would consider this woman for marriage. Honest to goodness, truth. Put a one in the chat if you even think about marrying this woman. Put a three in the chat if you just hard no, hard pass. One, I'd marry her. Three, I wouldn't. Just she talks about democracy. Let's get the democracy here. We know there's not a man in his right mind with any modicum of masculinity intact inside himself that's even going to remotely consider. Look at all those threes just pop up like that. <laughs> that's even going to consider her for a, a, a wife. It's not going to happen. A lot it's of three in the chat. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. So, I mean, Daniel's right. She's doing the wrong assignment. She's doing mathematics, handing it into her English teacher. I would rather She's smash my head to the wall. Ibrahim yeah. said it. Yeah, I agree with him. It is basically what you're going to be doing every single day without the wall if talking to her. I mean, you see me holding my head here. The woman's hurting my head. It's just listening to her. I just be like, you know what? If this chick. I just change the locks when she's at work one day. She just come home, the locks be changed. Or I'd like hire her like a, a work four work crews, and like she goes to work for eight hours, and I have four work crews just clean out the house. She come home and it's empty, nobody's home. You know, there's nothing there. But I, I leave the cat, you know, cat food in a litter box, like right in the middle of the house. It's like you know, zzz. she's doing the wrong assignment. You know, this goes back to what uh, my video that came out like two days ago. I think it was. It's like, what's the end goal with these sisters? When we look at these behaviors and we listen to these conversations of feminism, this, that, the other, and they're arguing back and forth with dudes, you know, about women's rights and all this other type of stuff, nobody's even trying to deny them. What's the end goal here? What do you want? You hmm. really want to be alone and miserable? That's what you're aiming for. There's no goal here. There's no goal here. There's really no goal. When you listen to her, she's just arguing for the sake of arguing because she's got a man's attention. She found a guy that's high value. Daniel has like a big following. So in a social setting, he definitely meets like the, the, the social alpha. And what she has is his attention. This is what we're looking at here in terms of female behavior. That's, that, that's her future about American. Just listen to this. Being with someone else, I've always been on my own. And, you know, my biggest dream is, this seems really silly, but my biggest dream is coming home to someone. I think that's the reason why I started this bikini model challenge. I think if I just look beautiful enough, if I'm just thin enough, if I am just successful enough, then guys will come. Then maybe they won't just want to sleep with me, but actually want to have a relationship with me. Um, and I know that it's not rational thinking. I just hate the fact that I always come home and know that there's nobody there. Do you want to know a secret about me? I always keep the telly on when I'm at home 
because I cannot stand the sound of silence in my home. It's just, it's becoming more difficult just because I'm reaching that age where women are getting babies and I just want to become a mom. I just want to become a mom. I can't stand the silence in my home. I just want family and I can't get well, it. I had a woman tell me something, something similar, quite literally. I mean, I've had, I had a woman tell me something similar um, and it was, it was really like saddening, you know, to hear it. It really was. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's a good question, Abd, uh, Abdullah. Uh, why are educated women is an attractive coach? I will tell you why. Because there is, there is a certain characteristics, especially with females, with uh, science, scientific uh, education and degrees. Like, do you know what characteristics and personal traits you need to be an engineer? You have to be more interested in things than people. And that's against the female nature. She has to be more masculine to be a successful engineer and to get the degree. She has to be dominant, assertive, argumentative, opinionated, and have very strong and dominant personality. And all what I mentioned make her unattractive to men. Men looking for loyal, feminine, submissive, quiet, uh, beautiful, young, fertile, and healthy female. That's what we are programmed to be attracted to. Does like women with a high education, especially scientific high education, have that? No, they don't. That's why it's hardwired in your mind. It is not social construct. You're not attracted to these uh, traits in female because it's not feminine traits, it's masculine traits. She's glowing of masculine energy. That's why she's not, she's not attractive. That's why men like... Uh, hmm, let me... Uh, he's, a, he's a celebrity, very, fam very famous one. Very famous one. He got, he got like his maybe 200 million uh, Hollywood actor. He got married to, uh, he got married to, what is, what is it? St Stewart uh, girl or uh, attendance in, uh, in, uh, in a restaurant, what they, what they call it? Uh, uh, waitress. In the restaurant. Waitress. Yeah, waitress. He got yeah. married to waitress. Nicolas Cage, Nicolas Cage. Okay. Yeah, Nicolas Cage. Nicolas Cage got married to waitress. Why did he get married to, to waitress? He did not find uh, a nuclear physician female. Why? Why? Because, first of all, he can date down. He can marry down as a man. Woman cannot marry down. And he doesn't care. He doesn't care about your mechanical engineering degree. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Not in a relationship. That's it. No, not in a relationship. It doesn't matter. Not to a normal thinking, man. Anyway, bro, this, this woman's just a mess. I mean, I, I'll just repeat what I said earlier. I mean, the, the big takeaway from all yeah. of this is that Daniel is very patient. <laughs> That's a takeaway from this two-hour conversation yeah. you have with this woman. Yeah, yeah. He, you know, that he's very, he, he's a better man than me in that regard. Hmm. That really, that's the takeaway for me. Because she was such, just so nonsensical that it's like, what else am I supposed to understand here other than it's like, wow, that brother really got some patience to deal with that type of stuff. He's so polite. I, so I mean, I mean, once I figured out that this was an attraction thing, my entire persona would change on her. I'd be like, hey, why don't we just talk to you, Wally? I can just grab you by the hair, grab your draw of yours. You'd be so happy, girl. What would you? Let's just cut the chase. Why we got to do all this? I, I, the whole conversation would change if I was talking to her on air. You know, you just want someone to come and just grab you by the chin, right? By the jaw, don't you, girl? You just want that. Just go ahead and say it. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you in denial? 
<laughs> you know what it's like? It's like all those, it's like all those, like, um, those, what do you call it? Uh, the race activists, you know? And then they go and then they, they, they marry like white dudes. And then they talk about how like the white patriarchy is horrible. And then they're all married to white guys. You know, they probably at home doing race play. You know, she probably like, you know, with me master or some crazy stuff. I guarantee you they it's not a coincidence that they get on TV, you know, talking about like the white, white patriarchy and then they're all married to white dudes. This is, bro, is 100% something like that. 100%. Yeah. Cardi B, Cardi B represent the modern woman. She says she says on the in the song, I don't cook, I don't clean, and I still have the ring. Her husband <laughs> just uh, just recorded her wiping the wiping the ground. I yeah. saw that. Stop lying to people. You you cook and you clean. So yeah. stop telling woman, I don't cook, I don't clean. No, you cook and you clean. And she's multi-millionaire. She's she was 100% sweeping. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> he busted her. I thought that was funny. Yeah, there, there's a reason why why Shades of Grey uh, like sold 50, uh, 50, 52 million copy for women. Mm -hmm. There's a big reason. Yeah. Because women don't there. like dominant men. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. And I think this is a, this is another takeaway. Actually, let's let's have a second takeaway here. It's like you know, a, a lot. I'm not going to say all of it, but a lot of like female behavior in situations like this is based upon attraction. Generally, when a woman's not mm. dis disattracted to you, and I have two women sitting here, they could probably guarantee you know verify this. If a woman's not attracted to you, you just don't exist to her. She's not going to spend two hours talking to you. She's not attracted to you. She's not interested in you whatsoever. Can you imagine spending any of y'all? Can you imagine spending two hours talking to a dude you just have no like for whatsoever or anything like this? Under what circumstances would you, as a woman, talk to a guy for two hours that you dislike? No. Two yeah. hours. It's very not female behavior. I don't care how masculine mm -hmm. she is. That's a considerable degree of attraction right there. Mm -hmm. This is really she, she got more. About American, I be, I believe she got more testosterone than than than, than a lot of men yeah. these days. But but when a woman wants your time and your attention like that, there's a reason. Hmm. They're aiming for something. This is why guys pay attention. And I know we're going a bit off topic here, but stay on topic and pay attention to the context of the conversation Daniel's having with this woman. When when I was in my peak Twitter battle days, and the women would come at me. There was a reason why the women would always focus on me and arguing with me and not talking to the guys like, oh, yeah, you're so right, girl. Oh, you're, you're right. That's an amazing point. Oh, sister, that's a beautiful point. Those guys were ignored. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because they weren't attracted yeah. to those guys. This is not what she found attractive. Mm -hmm. She found that disagreeableness, that just like, you know, that attitude. She found that attractive. She find this is no different. There's no different. That sister, she's not debating some random dude that you never heard of. Go on her yeah, channel. Guarantee yeah. you there's no like nobody dude you've never heard of over there, or whatever else she's debating. She he, he just elevated her. She's yeah. no one. But it's not even a matter of elevation. That's just a matter of like she stalked that dude for a year. The last woman that stalked me for a year ended up I ended up marrying. <laughs> 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 so I'm just saying. This is how she's a, she's a fan girl. She's a fanboy. This is fanboys, fan girls. This is how it is, man. We're we're seeing something here, and it's like something completely different. Hmm. This is that indirect female communication attraction thing going on, and she just hmm. went in some crazy roundabout conversation to try and like you know flip some very goofy female game that is not going the way that she expected it to, and she got mad. Her frustration yeah. showed at the end. An intellectual co uh, uh, conversation is not going to go like that. She, it was emotional for her. As I said, listen yeah. to her voice. Listen to her voice. Go back and listen to that whole thing. Listen to her voice. Listen to the intonation. Listen to when she goes silent. Listen to her nervousness. Listen to when she's entertained. It's obvious. Yeah. It is not patriarchy. So what is patriarchy? Uh, I don't care what is patriarchy. That should be a meme. <laughs> I'm just talking to you, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Exactly. Q007. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Man yeah. spotted. Q007 knows what's up. Exactly. She can bring down and try and destroy the value of the competition. Hmm. <laughs> well, they're married. They, they, have, they have six or seven kids. Like, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. You're goofy. No, it's not. Not at all. So... I, I guess I guess you know uh, Daniel. I got the notification. Daniel is having a debate right now about sexual liberation. So should we end this? Am I American? Yeah, yeah. Let's go over, man. I'll go over there and check it out. Well, actually, I probably don't have time, but I'll try and play it in the background while I'm doing my work. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Well, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you didn't like the video, uh, if you didn't like the video, you have to like the video for uh, for. Uh, for booking consultation, you can you can book it through my through my website, guys. The link is down. You can join the channel through the link is down also or the join button. Uh, for any inquiry, you can email me at uh, info at tripperarabic.com, which is the uh, the website mailbox. Thank you very much for uh, for attending Abu American. You're you're almost uh, you're uh, you're welcome as always every time Thank you. In, the, in the channel. Uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, everybody. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.